Nah, we ain't gonna do all that. We ain't gonna put that on the camera because we got pigs and stitches and everything else going on around here. We gonna do this the right way. We having a restoration for the family. My name is Joe Nell Hunter. I'm from Houston, Texas. I was born and raised in Lakers home, and I am the CEO of Underground Foot Racing. UFR is Underground Foot Racing. It came about because I really wanted the opportunity to, to run again, which I had lost, I thought I lost. So I, I, I came up with a way where I, could, where I can continue to run and compete with other, with other people who run. So once I came up, once I came up with it, I just, I don't know, I, I kept it, I kept it going and people wanted to see. So I kept working at, I kept running, and the more, I, the more I ran and raced people, the more people wanted to see it. My first memory of running is probably family reunion, something like that. We would get my family members, my cousins, uncles, all that, everybody would run. Everybody would race. We just put race, like challenge each other. It was like a challenge to us. So we'd just be like, we're going to race to the, to the mailbox or whatever, and, we, and we'll break out running. But it, was, it was just something I loved to do. I always loved to run. Since I, was, since I was young, I always loved to run. So nobody had to push me into doing it. I just already wanted to do it. Yeah, I won. I won, I won, first, I won first a couple of times. Medals, all that. Yeah, I won. I won a couple of times. I wanted to be the best at it, so I kept running. When I got to high school, I got a little more exposure then. I like, you know, it was all about getting that little and then it wasn't about just, it wasn't about just running. It was about competing on the next level. Who gonna, who I'm gonna beat? Whose spot I can take, mostly. And I had scholarships, all that. I had scholarships to go to college. And I was in Eisenhower then, I was in Eisenhower High School then, when, when the colleges and all that. Coaches, football coaches, everybody was approaching me then. Everybody wanted me to run. I got in trouble, like, right before I got ready to graduate high school. Right before, like, district of my 11th grade year. I had got in trouble, but had to go to jail or whatever. So that took my took my chances of my scholarships away from me. My mom, my mom, my grandma influenced me. My my, my mom was she used to be the fastest one on the track. Uh, she used to kill them. I, I from what I remember, she used to run the hundred and two hundred. She won medals. Yeah, she won a lot of medals. Oh, somebody somebody was talking talking noise on the street so I was like man I'm fast I, I, I'm really fast man I just I just messed my chances up but they didn't believe it so I ended up running against them once well once I once I start beating one person they, they they like branch out and go try to get somebody else to come to come compete against me to come beat me the bad portion of it is like mostly people started out trash talking they, oh, I'm faster than you. I got 100, I got 200. Just people that come with me end up in noise and, and lump sums because they be wanting to bet more. So while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm trying to raise one person, it might be somebody, his uncle, his daddy, or somebody be like, yeah, my son is my son fast. Yeah, he's been fast all his life. So he feel like I feel, yeah, you can't, yo, I feel like you can't beat me. So what you trying to bet or whatever. So when we put the wages up or whatever, the, the smallest around I probably ran for was probably like forty dollars. The most, the most I probably ran for was like four thousand though. I ran for like four thousand. On one race. I mostly promote my races on flyers, Facebook, YouTube. The distance between street race and range in between is forty, over forty, and under a hundred. Yeah, probably from mailbox to mailbox. That's how we mostly determine it. Well, most of this is a street that has not too much traffic on it. Why, why cars won't be coming through while you're racing? Most of the time, there, there's no, there's no, there's been no disputes while while I've ever been running. Nobody ever gets into it, so it's been safe. I have my kids, everybody out here with me. I'm proud of where underground foot racing is now, and I'm looking forward to big things in the future.